Now, I know I don't normally do these types of videos, but right now, I feel like I have to. So, for the past few days, weeks, and even months, I've noticed that most of the people around me are exhausted, they barely have any motivation to get up in the morning, doesn't have the energy to do the things that they normally enjoy doing, and some even gave up on doing them. And the most disappointing thing about it is I don't just see it in others, but I also see it in myself. So a quick story time, uh, around August 2023 up to the end of September, I haven't been myself lately, wherein my room has always been a mess. I have barely read any books in this category or in my to be read books. And I haven't posted a single video in my channel. Two months have passed and I haven't posted anything, which is quite disappointing to be honest. And I feel like I've always been faking a smile whenever I'm around with my friends and family and even at school. And finding myself every day after my classes on my phone, lying on my bed and getting up once in a while just to do my school works. And after that, it's back on my bed. I go back on my phone, scrolling through TikTok, mindlessly scrolling, checking other people's posts on Instagram, Facebook. And I know it's unhealthy, really. But the thing that disappoints me the most is my mindset about my school works, which is basta pasado okay na ako. Or when translated in English, as long as I pass, I'm alright with that. And I thought it was all that I need to get by the last year of my junior high school life. However, it's only when after our first grading period that I start to realize that there's something wrong. That I've been doing something wrong for the past few months. It was only then that I started thinking about my future once more. That I needed to do my very best. So I can get into a good college and work my way to become a successful architect. But how can I become successful when I barely scratch the surface of my potential? How can I be the person that I've always wanted to be when the only thing I do is just ask? And after a lot of thinking, I started doing on what needs to be done. To become a better version of myself. First, I started to find some motivation and inspiration to do the things that I want to stop doing, such as reading books, posting, and facing the camera once more, and also painting, and a bunch of other stuff as well. Started to live more in the moment, meaning I really have to focus in the present, not in the past, not in the future, but the present. Make some changes in my life. May it be on how my surroundings look. If you haven't noticed, I I did this by myself. I moved my shelf from one side of my room to another, which is very, very... I'm very happy with what I did. I'm very proud of myself for doing it. Or even the way that I look. Just to make myself feel confident, such as working out and having a balanced diet. So why is it that I'm telling you this? Well, it's not because that I'm seeking for attention, nor am I invalidating your feelings, but quite the opposite, actually. I'm telling you this because I want you to know that it's okay to not feel okay. Maybe because something bad happened in your life, maybe you lost something dear to you, or maybe you're just generally tired of everything that's happening in your life. It's okay to rest, stop for a while, and just take a breather. But what's not okay is getting comfortable and staying in that situation wherein you feel numb and miserable. I'm telling you this because I want to reach out to those people who are currently finding the right motivation that they need to get back on track or to stand back up again. I'm telling you this because I care about you. I may or may not know you in real life, but what I do know is that I don't want anyone who is watching this feel like they're alone in this world or that no one is willing to understand nor help them 
when in fact there are plenty of people who are willing to help you such as your family, your friends, and even our Lord above. But if you still think that no one, absolutely no one is there for you, hello, I'm here, hi! If you need anyone to talk to, I'm always here. My, the links to my social media accounts are down below in the description box. Feel free to message me and I promise I'll reply to each and every one of them. Lastly, before I end this, I just want to remind each and every one of you to stay safe, stay happy, and keep on fighting. Kaya mo yan! Legit! Kayang kaya mo yan! Woo! Cheer pa kita dyan eh! Bye-bye!